Past Life Regression Meditation by Dexter and Alessandrina This past life regression meditation was designed based on the process taught to us by Dr. Brian Weiss. It uses the process of progressive relaxation, which helps you come to a deep, deep state of relaxation where you can access the deepest layer of your subconscious mind. So let's begin by finding a position of comfort, preferably sitting down in a room where the light is dim and where you will remain undisturbed for the next 30 to 35 minutes. Now if you need to adjust your clothing, adjust your position where you're sitting, you may do so, so that you can be as comfortable as possible. Being comfortable is the most important part of this process. As you find this position of comfort, you may begin to close your eyes. If you find it difficult to keep your eyes closed, you may remain them open. It's preferable to keep them closed. Now remember that this process that was designed by Dr. Brian Weiss is very, very safe. And as you follow this guidance, you are always safe. Now, whether you experience the regression into childhood and other stages of your life and into a past life or spiritual realm wherever you choose to go today it doesn't matter if you experience it at the level of the senses of touch or sound or smell whether it's a visual experience an auditory experience, a kinesthetic experience, it's all valid. Allow yourself to have whatever experience you have and it will help you tremendously if you also don't critic, don't analyze, don't judge the process, if you allow yourself to feel what you feel and to experience it. Everything that you experience during this process, whether it's fantasy, imagination, whether it's metaphor, archetypes, symbols, memories, fragments of memories, and all of it, or a combination of all of it, it's all good. It's all part of the experience. So just allow yourself to experience whatever you experience and know that at the end of the regression you can then think about it, you can meditate on it and the meaning of your experience at a later time. For now just experience it. And remember that if at any point during the process you feel uncomfortable and that rarely happens, 
that said if there is any discomfort you have the option of hovering over the scene detaching yourself from your emotions in that moment you can also go back to the beautiful garden that I'll be describing and finally if you still feel discomfort you can also momentarily open your eyes finding yourself in the room that you're in right now and feeling safe, feeling relaxed and then closing your eyes again when you're ready. If you do open your eyes, you can go right back into the experience by closing your eyes and go as deep as you were simply by intending to go as deep as you were before you open your eyes. So let's begin by focusing on our breathing. Using your imagination here, visualizing the breath, flowing in on the inhale, flowing out on the exhale. And imagine that with each breath in, you take in the beautiful energy all around you you take in deep peace, deep relaxation. And as you exhale, you release the tensions, the stress, any anxiety, any discomfort in your physical body leaves as you exhale. Using the breath to take you deeper, and deeper. Letting go with each and every breath more and more. Dissolving the mental chatter as you focus on your breath. Go deeper. As you continue to go deeper throughout the process, you'll want to focus on my voice. Follow my voice. Follow my guidance. So that you can remain conscious as I take you deeper and deeper into the deepest states of relaxation. Now, let's begin to relax all the muscles of your body from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. Relaxing the muscles of your forehead, the temples, the eyes, letting the eyes sink into their sockets. Relaxing your jaw, releasing any tension, any clenching of your teeth so that you find yourself very relaxed in your face, all the muscles of your face completely free of tension. Relaxing the muscles of your neck, letting go of any tension in the neck that tend to create tension headaches, releasing the tension there, moving into your shoulders, relaxing the muscles of your shoulders, dropping whatever you've been carrying with you, letting it go. And as your shoulders drop down and relax, your arms relax, your hands, your fingers relax. 
as a feeling of lightness in your arms, hands, fingers. Now move your awareness to your chest and dissolve any tension in your chest. Feeling so light and so free in your chest. Moving on to your back, your back muscles, relaxing the upper and the lower back muscles, releasing any tension that comes from worry or not feeling supported that tend to accumulate in your back. Feeling completely supported in the chair that you're sitting in. Feeling completely supported on the earth in your life. Allowing for the relaxation to flow into your abdomen, allowing for the breath to be even more peaceful, tranquil, calm. Feeling the relaxation move into your pelvic floor, free of tension. Completely relaxed, feeling safe, feeling really good in your body right now as all muscle tension dissolves. Feel the relaxation moving down into your legs, all the way down to your feet. And your whole body is now completely relaxed. Let go, go deeper relaxed. Now, at the top of your head, visualize a beautiful light. And this light can be a pure white light or a light of any color that you choose or colors. And it can shift throughout the process as you move this light through your body. And this is a beautiful healing light, restoring your body to perfect health, getting rid of disease, discomfort, illness. It's also a deeply relaxing light that brings you into the deepest states of relaxation. And this light is also a spiritual light. As the light from above and all around you, helping you get in touch with the spiritual dimensions of your being, your soul connected to enlightened beings, spiritual beings all around you all the time. Now imagine, feel or visualize this beautiful light in whatever color you see it, moving through your crown chakra, the top of your head and flowing down into your head. reaching your brain and your spine, the spinal cord, and filling these organs with the beautiful light, healing, restoring these organs to perfect health. Now visualize, see or feel the light flowing down into your body in the form of a wave, 
feeling each and every cell of your body, every fiber, every muscle, every organ on the way down. Flowing down into your heart, your beautiful heart. Healing your heart at the level of emotion, at the level of spirit and at the physical level. And as the light reaches your heart, your heart begins to pump the light through your entire body, pumping the light through each and every cell of your body from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. And let this light shine the brightest where you feel that you want it the most for healing, for relaxation, for growth. healing and restoring you to perfect health, taking you deeper and deeper into relaxation. Now as the light fills your body, it begins to move around your body, outwards through your skin, all around you forming a cocoon or a bubble of light all around you, protecting you, healing you. And this bubble of protection will remain around you throughout the entire duration of this practice. Continue to heal and to relax deeper and deeper as you bathe in this beautiful light, rejuvenating your body, restoring your body to perfect health. As you go deeper and deeper into relaxation, you begin to transcend the barriers of space and time. And in this state, you can access all memories, all experiences that you've ever had, whether in this physical body or any other physical bodies that you've ever been in. And you can remember everything. You can also remember and access experiences on the spiritual realm. Wherever you choose to go today, it's up to you. What your intentions are in this lifetime, in this moment in your life what you're choosing to use this practice for. So, in a moment, we will go back in time. At the beginning, a little bit, and then more and more so that you can experience and see that you can remember everything. Now let's go deeper, even deeper. And as I count backwards from 10 to 1, and as I reach the number 1, you will have gone 10 times deeper than you are now. 10, 9, 8, going deeper and deeper relaxed, 7, 6, 5, 
deeper and deeper and deeper. Four, three, deep, deep state of tranquility, of inner peace. Two, one, ten times more relaxed. Nine, this state of deep, deep relaxation where your subconscious mind can completely open. Imagine a beautiful staircase in front of you, going down. And with each step that you take down, you go deeper and deeper relaxed. Going down the staircase, one step at a time, going deeper and deeper and deeper relaxed. Now you reach the bottom of the staircase and you're so light, so relaxed and in front of you, you imagine, see or feel a beautiful garden and in this beautiful garden that you create, your very sacred space, your own heaven. They are beautiful flowers and plants and trees. Anything that you desire is in this beautiful garden. And you step into this garden and there's beautiful scents all around of flowers and fragrances. And as you step into the garden, you feel more and more relaxed. And in this beautiful garden of tranquility, of joy, of bliss, you look for a place where you can rest, where you can leave your body as you continue to move deeper and deeper into the deepest recesses of your subconscious mind. And so sitting or laying down in this beautiful garden that you create, let us begin our journey back in time. And as I count back from five to one, let yourself remember a childhood memory, an important childhood memory you can keep it happy or light if you wish something meaningful something that will help you in your life right now and as I count and get to number one you'll be right there with this childhood memory experiencing it right now Five, a childhood memory, keeping it happy and light if you choose to. Four, bringing this childhood memory into focus now. Three, you can remember everything. Two, almost there. One, be there. What do you become aware of? Where are you? Are you inside or outside? Are you in a room, in a bedroom, in a kitchen? Or maybe on a trip? Whatever memory comes to the surface, just allow yourself to experience it. Don't analyze, don't critic. Just experience it. Maybe you'll see this memory as an image, a picture that you've seen. 
Maybe for you it will be more of a kinesthetic experience. Sensations, impressions. Whatever you experience is fine. Allow yourself to have this experience. Are there people around you? Oftentimes, when we go back to a childhood memory and we find people around us, they look younger than they are now because they were back then. And if you want to go deeper into this memory, breathe yourself deeper into the memory by taking a couple of slow deep breaths and allowing yourself to go even deeper than you are now. If you find yourself distracted by any thoughts, any sounds, anything that distracts you away from this experience, Allow yourself to use this to go even deeper, deeper into the experience. And if you experience any discomfort, remember that you can hover over, over your body. You can go back to the garden or you can even momentarily open your eyes and then close them back again. And sometimes when a childhood memory comes up, there's a series of memories related to this experience that also come up and you can allow for these experiences, these images, these sensations to all come to the surface. Now begin to hover over this memory, floating above it, feeling so light and so free, and you're still with this memory. Asking yourself mentally, why this memory? Why out of the hundreds or thousands of memories that could have come up today in this experience, why was it this one? What is it showing me? Is there something that I can understand? Someone that I can understand? From experiencing and re-experiencing this memory right now. And now, let us go back in time, even further back in time, to a memory in utero before your birth in your present physical body, in your mother's womb, going back to a prenatal experience. And many people have been able to recall from this time, from this space. And while it may not be as precise, while it may be more about impressions, sensations, or emotions. You can still enjoy the experience, whether it's your imagination, fantasy, a combination, it's all valid, it's all useful. And so as I count back from five to one, you'll go back to a prenatal, in utero experience in your mother's womb. Experiencing whatever you experience in that state. Oftentimes people also have spiritual experiences in that state right before they are born. They can remember why they're here. And you may want to inquire into that, into why you have chosen this lifetime, this experience in this body. Five, going back in time 
to any experience before your birth. 4. In utero, prenatal, in your mother's womb. 3. Bringing this memory into focus now. 2. Whether it's physical sensations, impressions, emotions, just allowing for whatever you experience to be experienced. 2. You can remember everything. 1. Be there. Prenatal in utero, in your mother's womb. And what do you become aware of now? Is it physical sensations, impressions, temperature, sounds, emotions, maybe your mother's emotions because of this time you're very close merged with your mother or maybe your father's emotion because consciousness is not limited to the physical body whatever you become aware of is fine allow yourself to have the experience Maybe you become aware of spiritual wisdom, why you're here, why you have chosen this birth, why you have chosen these parents, the lessons that you have come to learn in this lifetime. And remembering that is very useful. Now leaving this experience, as I count forward from 1 to 3, you'll be going forward in time to the moment of your birth, with no pain, no discomfort at all, just to experience your birth. 1. You're born. 2. No pain, no discomfort at all. 3. You're out. What do you become aware of? Do you feel a difference in temperature, in light? Are there people around you? Who's around you? Your parents, nurses, doctors? What do you become aware of? At this time there's often this feeling of love, of unconditional love connecting to this state where we are loved for no reason without having to perform, to do anything, to be anything. This state of pure love. And sometimes we forget this state of pure love, of being loved, just for existing. And so you can connect to this now and remember this now. Remembering how easy, simple life was at this time. And as you float above this memory, you're still with this memory. You can ask yourself, why this birth? Why this life? And allow yourself to gain the insights that will help you in your life right now with whatever situation you find challenging. Now as you float light and free in this beautiful space, imagine, visualize or see a beautiful door and underneath this door is a beautiful light. And this is the door to your past lives. This is the door to the spiritual realm. And you feel pulled towards this door. You want to know what is behind the door. You are looking forward to join the experience, the scene, the person 
the lesson behind the door. And as I count from five to one, you'll open the door and join the scene, join the person, join the experience, join the past life or the spiritual dimension. Five, you open the door and you step into the light. Four, moving through the light, looking forward to join the experience, the person, the lifetime, the spiritual dimension beyond the light. Three, getting closer and closer to the experience, the person, the past life, the spiritual dimension. Two, almost there now. One, be there. What do you become aware of now? Are you in a physical body? Look down to your feet. If you are in a physical body, are you wearing shoes, sandals, or are you barefoot? And as you begin to look up, look at your hands, their shape, their color. You may look also at your chest, are you male or female? Look at your clothing, the colors, the texture. Maybe they indicate a specific historic time, a country, giving you clues about where you are and who you are in this lifetime. And looking around you for other clues, looking at the landscape, mountains, rivers, forests, oceans, or maybe you're in a city or a small village, a small town. Look at the architecture, the buildings, the structures. Look all around you. Where are you? And how old do you think you are? Maybe you can find a reflective surface or a mirror and look at yourself. And if you're not in a physical body, just allow yourself to sense, feel as many details as you feel and sense around you. And if you are in a physical body, continue to explore your environment in the same way. And if you find people around you, see if you can get close to them. Maybe you recognize them by their face, their eyes, or just their energy. Are these people that you know now in this lifetime, do you recognize them? Now as I count forward from one to three, move to a, an important event, a significant event in this lifetime. An event that will help you understand why this lifetime, how it's relevant to this life that you are in right now, how it can help you. One, two, three, you're there. What is going on now? Where are you? Are there people around you? And what are you doing? Why this experience? What is it showing you? What is it telling you and how can it help you in your life right now?
Now in a moment, as I count forward from one to three, go to the very end of that lifetime with no pain, no discomfort, just to experience it, just to see how you left that body, that lifetime. One, the very end of that lifetime. Two, no pain, no discomfort. Three, you're there, the very last day of that lifetime. What do you become aware of? Where are you? Are there people around you? Oftentimes they are at those times, those important times. Just experiencing the end of that lifetime, just to see how you left it. As you leave the body, begin to float above it, feeling so light and so free back in this wonderful, beautiful, spiritual place. And reflecting on this lifetime, why this lifetime? What were the lessons of this lifetime? What did you learn? And how can these lessons help you in your life right now? And as you float in this beautiful place, in this spiritual realm, imagine, feel or visualize spiritual beings around you. You can imagine them however you like. Spiritual masters, guides, angels, Buddhas or Bodhisattvas, ascended masters, religious figures, And as they come close to you, you have questions for them. You want to ask them for guidance. Do they have a message for you? Can they answer any question that you have? Is there something that they can tell you, that they can share with you, that will help you to remove blockages to your health, inner peace, happiness, joy, love, fulfillment, success. And however you communicate with them, whether it's through words, mind to mind, symbols, visions, whatever the communication, the experience, just allow yourself to have the experience and receive the guidance, receive the messages anything that is relevant to your life right now that will make your life better that will bring you more happiness, more joy, more peace receiving their messages, their guidance, you remember that your spirit guides, the spiritual beings are always around you and in this deep deep state you can always have access to their guidance, to their wisdom, to their messages. As they leave now, you remember that you can always call upon them and you thank them for their guidance, their wisdom. And now you rejoin your body in the garden. And as I count forward from 1 to 10, you'll be coming back to this time to this place, remembering all of the experiences that you've had, the 
childhood memories, the in utero experience, your birth, the beautiful door on the spiritual realm, your past life or a spiritual experience, all the lessons, all the guidance, all the wisdom that you gained. And integrate all of that into your being, into your life right now to help you to feel happier, to feel more grounded, safer, joyful. Now coming back in your physical body, your physical body that has been restoring in the light in the garden feeling energized, feeling light, feeling restored, rejuvenated, counting forward from 1 to 10, 1 to 3, slowly coming back, feeling yourself in your body, grounded, aware, alert, feeling good, feeling great, 4, 5, 6, completely in control of body and mind, feeling yourself in your body. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, your back. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and wiggle your fingers and your toes. And you're 